In the jungle, the mighty jungle, a lion's box tonight. That's a word. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, a li- Actually, I just noticed, I forgot. <laughs> I've got these in my fingers. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to Alpha Top. So my name's Adam. Today we're going to be cracking open a box of AFL Team Coach 2022. This is my Brisbane box. If you've been paying along with the videos at home, you know that I went to Brizzy on holidays a few weeks ago, and I brought myself home a full box of Brisbane, of, a full box of Team Coach 2022 from Brisbane. This is from the Brisbane from the land of the lion, from the Brisbane itself. How many times am I going to say Brisbane in this intro? Apparently a lot. Brisbane, 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 Brisbane. That's enough. Um, if you're wondering, I, um, I, I've got some colorful Band-Aids on my fingers. Uh, this one. So this one, I, uh, I cut myself uh, cutting my son some apple. Um, and uh, by the way, when this video comes out, it's actually his birthday. So happy birthday uh, to my boy. Um, and I end up cutting myself. So we put this bandaid on me uh, and then he just enjoy. He likes putting band-aids on people. And then he made me put this one on as well. So that's why I've got two band-aids. This one, because I sliced my finger. This one, because my son likes putting stickers on things. Let's get cracking, shall we? All right, let's open up. Uh, we're going to open up first half of this box in this video. It's actually really hard. I can't, the, the band-aids over the top of my nail and I can't dig in to get the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't think it was going to have an impact on me, but apparently it does. Uh, so this, um, uh, we're going to do half of the box in this video, then the second half in tomorrow's video. So make sure you come back for that. Now these are, these are just absolutely stacked. Here we are. Uh, beautiful. As a poster, you've seen the poster before. I'm just going to get rid of that. Oh, a couple of packs have fallen out. That's exciting. There we go. Uh, we're going to grab oh, this half. Why not? Let's do the right hand half first. Oh my god, this packs are just so hard and slippery. I appreciate, I really do appreciate the uh, the the roadside recyclability of these packs this year. However, they're just so slippery. They're just particularly slippery this season. Let's put this half of the box. Oh, that's, uh, let's, uh, let's open that one anyway. Hey, it wants to be open, this, this video. It wants to be open. Uh, let's put that one off to the side. We'll crack that in tomorrow's video. And today, we're going to crack this mound of cards right here. What wonderful, what wonderfulness, what deliciousness is awaiting us in this box. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. All right, pack number one. Let's see if we can get some magic. Now, of course, we're looking. I'm pretty sure. Actually, let's zoom in because we normally zoom in for this. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure ordinarily, well, I don't know if it's prison boxes or not, but if the front card is a common, then you got something good. Will Powell and Trini Cochin. Go Tigers. Open up with a Tig right there in the classic star power in just the silver. And oh, double double Tiger patch to start off. Tommy Lynch right there injured this weekend, so I won't be playing against the Swans, but that's okay. He's uh, had a good season, minus a few kicking inconsistencies, but he's still second second in the Coleman, so there you go. That says a lot about him. All right, Brad Cash for the Saints, Cat Phillips, and Took Miller inside the card craft, uh, starting that Queensland goodness right there. Are we going to get something amazing in Gold Coast or um, the Lions? It is a Brisbane box after all. So maybe, I don't know, do they stack the Brisbane boxes with like, you know, particularly good Brisbane cards? Do we get a gold um, Lucky Neal? That's my question. Joel Selwood from the Cats. Captain Monet Connie. Go Tigers. Uh, Captain Cat. Cat Captain. Cat. 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 Catty. Cat. Cat. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm just literally stuck saying cat. Cat Captain. That's hard to say. Joel Meowwood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking of cat related. Charlie, there you go, Brisbane box. And Sam Walsh. Oh, that is a good, uh, oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> that is a good canvas. Yeah, that is actually a great canvas. Sam Walsh, Kelton having a brilliant season. Surely someone out there wants the Sam Walsh canvas and has some yellow and black on the other side. Surely, surely, surely somebody wants that card. I would assume that somebody definitely wants that card. Mostly Kelton supporters. All right, nothing so far, but let's see. Let's see. It's still very early on. Toby Green, Katie Brennan, one of my football loves, and Clayton Oliver, the Demons, obviously having a ripper of a season, currently the only undefeated team in the AFL. And frankly, I could probably see him going the rest of the season without losing a game. Although generally in like junk time, when it's like one of those seasons, uh, generally in junk time, like in the last few rounds when they don't really need to get up, 
Um, they don't really put the full on. So I reckon, um, do the, I haven't looked ahead, but do Melbourne play North Melbourne at any point again? Speaking of North Melbourne, there you go, Jay Simpkin, the, the indigenous less multicultural star power of Jay, of Jay Simpkin. Uh, do North Melbourne play Melbourne at any point, Trinity Coach and Go Tigers? Because if they do, and it's like in the last three rounds or so, there's a good chance North Melbourne upsets them because that just always seems to happen. Uh, have you noticed that? Like the top team always loses in the last couple of rounds because they're protecting players from injuries and things like that to like a lower base team because they know they can afford it. Bailey Dale and Butter Bing Butter Boom Bailey Dale. Butter Bing Butter. I don't know. I don't get it. Do you, does anyone get that? Bailey Dale. Butter Bing Butter Boom. Does he like bling? Is that a, is that is that a thing? Uh, Bulldog supporters. Is Bailey Dale particularly? A, like, um, blingy individual in his life. I have no idea. Oh, okay, so we got nothing so far. We got, we got nothing. That's okay. We should be looking for at least a gold um, best and fairest and a wild card and probably a team colors as well. But, no, hey, I haven't seen that one. Who's that one? That's Betty Dangerfield. Dazzling Danger. That makes sense. I see the alliteration of Dazzling Danger. Let's, let's focus in there. I may not have been focused for this entire video. I just looked down at the screen and it wasn't focused very much. Hopefully it is now. All right, there it goes. Uh, we are cracking through these packs because nothing is coming out. Nothing's coming out. Where's that Brisbane luck? I had some phenomenal Brisbane luck. If you remember, the uh, I also about just bought a couple of packs. And in those five, maybe five or six packs, something like that, in my Brisbane video, I cracked open a neon team uh, team colors, not team colors, no, a neon star power, and a wild and wild card in both of them. David Swallow. There's some Brisbane goodness for all the, uh, uh, Brisbane, some Queensland goodness, should I say. And Charlie Cameron, there's a double Queenslander pack right there. All right, um, how many have we got left? I feel like we're blasting through these faster than anything. Three, six, nine, we've still got nine. We've got nine left, so in theory, we've done probably about the, about the nine. Is that maths? Nine, 18, 20, 20, 36? Yeah, it should be. Hey, there is a wild card, Jeremy Cameron from the Catters. Looking great. Magic wild card, which means half, beautiful half art. It is not a golden one, but that's okay. It still looks good. And I know there's some major cat fans out there. Man, Jeremy Cameron, he may be turning into a friend of the channel. I have pulled two team color Jeremy Camerons, and now I've pulled the magic wild card of Jeremy Cameron. There you go. Totem name Curtis Go Tigers on the, on the back. And let's turn around. I don't think there's any codes in there. No, there it is. Not half. Did I say half? Half is the, um, the, the footy size. Jamie Cooper, of course, with the art right there. Debut 2012. Obviously, he started his career with um, the Giants, won a Coleman there, and now is uh, high up in the Coleman ranking for the for the Cats as well. Him and Tommy Hawkins, both of them. Uh, you'd think that one of them would start to dip down a little bit. Do you think that like having both players is going to cost one of them uh, the Coleman this year? Thoughts, Cat fans? There he is, looking fantastic. I love that artwork on them as well. It's a really great pose, really, really great pose. There we go. We pulled something good. A magic wild card. I love my wild cards. I love my art cards. Always a good, good thing to find. Well, that's one box requisite up here. Uh, an next box requisite would be the um, golden uh, best and fairest, the gold best and fairest, and a team colors. And then after that, there's no guarantee of anything else. Charge! <laughs> ah, look at that face. Sorry, Georgie Artis. It's just, it's just not an attractive face for you, man. Like, I. I, I, I find it hard to believe that's the best looking photo they could find of him. Sorry, Mitch. I'm just sorry. Sorry, Mitch. Look, if you want Georgie Artis in your team, there you go. There's a code. Go get Mitch. Send some love to Mitch. Send some love to Mitch because I feel like he didn't get a lot of love in that photograph situation. All right, let's keep cracking. And let's put more. I got a couple. That's nothing. It's just a quick guide down. Maybe six to go. Rory. I uh, see the green down there. So we just got an odd bods. Let's go quickly. Jake Lever. And oh, Jack Rio. Go Tigers. And son of us, Silvani, right there. Son of SOS, son of SOS. Um, wait, it was, okay, I should probably know this. Was Steven Silvani's also dad a Calvin player, was he? I probably should have known that. So who, so um, Jack Silvani is, th is three generations of Silvani, of Silvani Calvin players? I should probably know that. But not being a Calvin sport, I don't. There is six to go. Six to go. Let's crack. Let's see if we can get something good in this rest of this box. We have got our wild card. Now, it appears for me, it's Nick Nat. Got to love a bit of Nick Nat. There's a code. 
Wait, I think I'm not meant to give that code away. All right, well, I've given that code away, so enjoy that code, somebody. Uh, uh, I think because the, the best and fairest are unique codes, right? I think. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I've got like three Nick Nat Silvers, so um, I don't know. I think it's okay for me to send out one of the codes. I guess I just keep that card and make sure I keep that card. I don't trade for it so people know that um, thing. Or I just cut it out. If there was a cut there, it means that I just decided to cut it out just in case I end up trading that Nick Nat, I guess. Dylan Grimes. Go Tigers. There he is. There it is. Because you got because I gotta be careful. Because like if I give out the codes that aren't um, like default codes. For example, like this is Luke Shuey. Don't know why Luke went Luke Shuey in team, but like no, that's not Luke Shuey. <laughs> well, they used to have those ones used to have a code on them, right? Um, if I give out a code that isn't a default code, then I don't I I don't want to trade it to people because um, then I'm giving away someone else's code really. So unless I'm keeping the card, Nucky Neil. No can I call him Noki Neil? Um, rewind the video tape. Did I, could I call him Noki, as in like the pasta Neil? Noki Neil. James Jot, go Tigers. And nothing in there. <laughs> Noki Neil. Also, that is a funny name for him. Why isn't that in the uh, odd bots? Noki Neil, and he's and have him made out of like Noki. Come on, guys. Do I have to do your job for you, team coach? It seems like I have to do your job for you, right? Noki Neil. It's just it's it's a joke that was waiting to happen. I'm purely by accident out of my own mouth. There it is, Tom Green, future star power. Man, Tom Green is good. There is a lot of talk about Tom Green potentially. He was a tiger so he was a tiger supporter when uh he was a kid because his grandpa, I think his grandpa played for the Tigers. And apparently there's a lot of he has a lot of interest in trying to get back to Richmond. So Look, I don't know. Look, I don't know. I'm not saying no to Tom Green. I think he's honestly a future like megastar in in the AFL. I think he, he he's got real dusty sort of vibes around him. I think Dylan Shield and Isaac Ranky. What's that? Houdini Ranky. Houdini. Ah, uh, because he like escaped being buried alive and stuff. That's why the drawing has got that stuff in the background. I haven't looked at the old bods close enough yet. I don't think I have the set either. Hey, this is the last pack of the video. Can you believe it? We've creamed through that. We've uh, we've powered through this one. Well, we've only had one uh, card of note. We've had the Jeremy Cam Cameron Wildcard. So we'll look at that in a second. Um, unless this one has something good. I haven't actually had a fly or anything. And up oh, there you go. Let's <laughs> speak of the dazzle. Flip and flip. Oh, I just dropped the other ones. And flip and flip and flip. Hey, tigers there. Three tigers there. Who we got? Marlin, Asprey, and Boston, along with a <laughs> very. Joe Danahill going, whoa, what a mark, Hipwood. What a mark indeed. Well done, Hipwood. Hey, look, it's Nocky Neal. <laughs> That's my new favorite joke, by the way. All right, well, that was the end. <laughs> that was the end of that. We finished that quickly. Let's zoom out and let's finish off this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you like and comment down below for the new channel. Or you haven't subscribed yet, let me see you maybe hit that bell icon and come along with me on my YouTube journey. I've got plenty, plenty more footy cards coming out in the future, including tomorrow's video, which is the second half of this box right here. Those ones, these packs. Those packs are going to get opened in the second half of the video, which is tomorrow. Apart from all that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, being amazing, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Also, happy birthday to my son. Bye, guys. <laughs>